Welcome back to Aurora Tech Channel. This is the Maker of Carvera Air, which I reviewed a few months ago, so I won't be reviewing it today. Unlike their flagship auto tool changer model, it doesn't come with a built-in dust collector, so when I use this machine, I have to connect a shop vac to its dust collection port. The problem is, shop vacs are very loud and draw a lot of power. If you're running a complex job like 3D engraving that takes several hours, a shop vac may not be ideal for continuous use, even if you don't mind the electricity it consumes. So today, we will test Maker's new dust collector and see how it performs. It uses a 200 watt blower with a maximum speed of 40,000 RPM. Once connected to the dust shoe of your machine, it sucks up all the debris. Most of the debris falls into the dustbin, and before the air is exhausted back into your room, it passes through a three-stage filter. The first stage is a cotton filter that blocks most of the larger particles. The second stage is a HEPA filter for fine particles, and finally a carbon filter absorbs odors. What you get out of the outlet is clean air. The claimed noise level is about 70 decibels. We'll definitely test it and compare it to other vacuums as well. I would like to thank Maker for sending us this device and for sponsoring today's video. With that, let's get started. The dust collector came with a compact box and was protected by laser cut foam like an inner box. We can just flip it over to take it out. All the accessories are packed inside the dustbin. There is a hose, a controller cable connected to the CNC, a power cord, and a pack of smoke filters, especially for use with the laser module, which we will also test out later. There is only one knob on the machine. If you are using a Makara machine, the controller software can automatically control it, or you can manually set the power level if you prefer, or pair it with other brand CNCs. The top cover is an airtight design. Inside, we can see the cyclone hole to let most of the debris drop into the dustbin. There are also three layers of filters before the air is exhausted back into your room, as we saw in the intro video. The top layer is the cotton filter. The HEPA and the activated carbon filter are packed together, and the bottom is another layer of cotton to keep the carbon pellets in place. Okay, let's start by testing the noise level. When the machine is idle, my room noise level is about 40 decibels. Once it's on and set at 20% power, the sound level is about 53 to 54 decibels. At 40%, it jumps to the high 50s. At 60%, it's at the mid 60s. At 80%, it's around the high 60s. At the maximum power, it's a little over 70 decibels. It seems it matches what they claimed. For your reference, I will also show you the sound of my other vacuums. A four horsepower shot back sound level is a little over 80 decibels. For a handheld Dyson V11, at power level one, it's around the same level as the Makara dust collector at 70 decibels. At level two, which I normally use to vacuum the house, it's about the mid 70s. At maximum boost power, it's even louder than the shot vac at the low 80s. Let's also test the suction power. In CFM, the Makara dust collector at maximum power can reach up to around 2,850 CFM. For a 4 HP shot vac, it's much higher at 7,800 CFM. For the Dyson V11, at level 1, it's a little less than 2,000 CFM. At level 2, it's around 2,500 CFM, slightly lower than the Makara dust collector at max power, 2,850 CFM. However, the maximum boost power of the Dyson can reach over 4,000 CFM, but you can't run this for over 5 minutes as it will drain the battery really fast. Before we test it with the CNC, I will also test the power consumption. When idle, the dust collector consumes just about 2 to 3 watts. At 20% power, it consumes about 18 watts. At 40% power, it consumes about 48 watts. At 60%, it consumes about 84 watts. At 80%, it consumes 137 watts. At full power, it consumes about 205 watts. For the Dyson, as it is battery operated, I can't measure the exact power, but for the four horsepower shot vac, it consumes a little over 1000 watts. Okay, after the basic tests, I will connect it to the Carvera Air CNC. There are three different ways you can control the dust collector when it is connected to the extend port of the machine. We can use G-code M851 and set the power level after the S or turn it off using M852. The second way is to use the Diagnose menu. Once you toggle the switch of the extend port, you can drag the power level with the bar. The final way is to let the software control it automatically. 
I will start a simple poplar wood cutting job for demonstration. I won't go too deep into the cam software here as I made a separate video for that. I've included the link to that video as well as the CNC machine reviews in the description. For this job, I will set the stock type size and thickness and I will just cut out a ninja star from an SVG file. Position it roughly the center, then I will create a contour toolpath. Just set the cut all the way down to 6.5 millimeters as this is a quarter inch poplar wood. Then, I will select the tool I use, which is a 1 8 inch diameter, 25 millimeter length single flute end mill. I will stick to the default settings in the software, generate the toolpath and export the file. Then, I will open the CNC controller, load the file, enable the dust collector, set a 5mm offset for both X and Y axes, and run the job. I will start with a preview frame and start the job. The dust collector automatically turned on at maximum power. It works pretty well, with only a tiny bit of debris remaining on the bed, and doesn't require cleanup at all. I will then run the same job again on 3mm acrylic. As CNC cutting acrylic typically results in greater chip load and finer debris than when machining wood, let's see how it performs. I can see more debris escape from the dust shoe compared with wood cutting. I would say the result is still manageable. Not as clean as wood, but it still looks much better compared with not using the dust collector in one of my previous acrylic cutting jobs. I will also try aluminum. As the cutting power of this Carvera Air is pretty good, I won't worry about just throwing in a quarter inch aluminum stock to let it cut. I will simply use their CAM software to make two pockets, a square and a circle. I will cut them down all the way to 6.5 millimeters and also stick with the software default parameters. In the controller software, I will also turn on the dust collector and do an auto leveling. Similar to a probe on a 3D printer, it will probe a 25 point grid on the stock. After that, it will start cutting the pockets. When the machine is fully enclosed, even when working with aluminum, the noise level is just about 71 to 72 decibels, as the dust collector is at about 70 decibels. So, cutting aluminum will be a little louder than the dust collector, but it's still pretty quiet, not far from an open frame high speed 3D printer. At the end of the job, you can see the dust collector can even suck up a piece of thin aluminum, which is considered a large debris. The finish of the pockets is clean. I also check the accuracy. The 20 mm square is very accurate at 19.98 mm. For the circle, it's hard to find the exact diameter, but it still measures at around 19.95 mm. For the dust collector, it works similar to the wood test, and only minimal debris escapes from the dust shoe. We have some debris across the bottom of the machine, but the table is still pretty clean, and I don't need to clean it up at all. Let's take a look at the inside of the dust collector after three different jobs. The inside is fairly clean, as most dust and debris drop into the dustbin directly. We can see some fine dust on the surface. The cotton filter basically filtered out most of the debris. As you can see, the HEPA filter is very clean. Most of the dust and debris have dropped inside the bin at the bottom. 
Finally, I will test it with the laser module. As it came with some extra round cotton filters that fit into the hose, I will put one inside to filter the smoke to extend the lifespan of the HEPA and carbon filter. The laser module is just a 5 watt. It's mainly for some light engraving. I will run a sample photo engraving job on a piece of MDF. In fact, a 5 watt module gives better results than higher power modules in terms of photo engraving. I then take out the cotton filter. As you can see, the smoke is filtered out by this filter. If you are not adding this as a pre-filter, all the smoke will get into your HEPA and carbon filter, which could cost more if you have to replace them frequently. Okay, let's talk about the pros and cons of this device, starting with the pros. 1. The design of the machine is simple, it just functions as expected. There isn't much you need to set up, it's basically plug and play. 2. The power of the machine is not as strong as a shop vac, but its noise level is much lower, even lower than a premium Dyson vacuum. This 200 watt power is also very energy efficient and gets the job done. 3. I also turned on the machine and let it run for over 3 hours, similar to a 3D engraving job I did previously. I checked the machine temperature with a thermal camera and couldn't see any area running hot, so it should be suitable for long runs with the CNC. 4. There are 3 plus 1 filters, a cotton filter, a HEPA filter, an activated carbon filter, as well as the add-on smoke filter. This ensures your laser engraving jobs won't wear out your filter box too quickly and could save costs in the long term. Now for the cons. The only thing I am not so sure about is the price. The retail price of this device has not been released yet, but I would expect it to be comparable to a premium vacuum like a Dyson. Additionally, the cost of the filters is another factor to keep in mind for long-term use, as you are very unlikely to easily find a third-party compatible filter, like with other vacuums. In conclusion, this dust collector is a great addition to your Makera Air CNC setup with build quality that matches other Makera products. It consumes less power, generates less noise than a shop vac, and does the job efficiently. If you're interested in this dust collector, I included the link in the video description below. Please also check out my website auroratechchannel.com, which tracks prices for major 3D printers, laser engravers, and CNC machines to help you find great deals. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.